So something interesting happened over the weekend. The famous iFruit app for GTA 5 was removed off of the App Store and Google Play Store. And if you've been playing GTA Online for a while now, you more than likely have used this app before to add custom plates on your car or to color the stock rims because this is the only way to do so. At least for the custom license plate, I know there's a few different ways you can get stock rim colored by doing merge glitches, but aside from that. The app did have some other features with like single player, you can train chop the dog, but the community mainly is the app for getting the custom plates. But now that it's removed from the app store and Google Play store, the only way you can get a custom plate now is if you have an older device that already had iFruit downloaded on it. Or if you've had a custom plate from before the order, that'll still appear in Los Angeles Customs, but you can't make any new ones. Even then, the app really hasn't worked like it should in like 5 years. The Los Angeles Customs app crashes non-stop when you try to do anything on it. If you have like more than 100 or so vehicles, the newer ones just don't show up on the app. If you have glitched out rims on any of your cars, that can cause the crash too. So it's really just been a nuisance to try to even get it to work for the longest time now. And with the next gen versions now here, it just doesn't work at all. At last gen, I could get it to work if I jumped through like 50 different hoops, but now it's just a lost cause. The app itself hasn't had an update since like 2019, over three years ago. What needs to happen is they just need to retire the iFruit app completely and implement its features it had in the app to the actual game, or at the very least to just the custom license plates and the ability to paint stock rims. Because I don't think there are many people out there who really care if they can't train chop the dog anymore. There was a time when companion apps for games were a big deal, and that was way back around the time GTA 5 originally launched back in like 2013. I remember the Battlefield companion app where I think you could play as a commander from an iPad or something. I think there was one with the Watchdog game where you could do multiplayer with someone on the phone, and the person on the phone could like initiate hacks that would show up in game. Call of Duty had the Call of Duty Elite app. Since then though, the industry I feel has moved on from it. You never really see companion apps anymore for games, and I think it's about time that GT Online also moved forward in that regard. Just add custom license plates to Los Santos Customs and charge us like 50 grand per custom plate that we make or something. That would be a much easier way of handling it. Plus you wouldn't have to create a new one in the app every single time you want to have a new custom license plate. You could just do it right there in Los Santos Customs. It'd be way easier. And maybe that is what their plan is in the next update and they're just taking iFruit down now to prepare for that coming up here. I guess we'll soon find out. That's pretty much it for this video. I just want to talk about the whole iFruit debacle and what I think they should do going forward with it. Let me know what you guys' history with the iFruit app is. Are you frustrated with the crashing problems it has? And would you like to see them just add custom plates as a normal feature in Los Santos Customs without any phone app required to do so? If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, feel free to leave a like as well as subscribe to my channel for more GTA Online content. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.